Hi, I'm Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Polly Whirl. And this is created by rounds of single crochets and changing colors to make it look like you have one continuous um, spiral of color. So the yarn that I'll be using is um, Starlet yarn that's available at maggiescrochet.com and I'm also using a tulip at a mohook which I love and that's available at maggiescrochet.com and um, so let me get I'm gonna start I'm gonna get this out of the way I'm gonna start with a slip knot I make a loop and that top strand of the loop I fold to the back so it looks like a pretzel and then that back strand, I pull up out of that circle there. And if you notice, one side is a knot side, one side is a slip knot. So you tighten the knot side right there. And then you pull the slip side and you put that on your hook and you adjust the slip side up to your hook like this. So in the directions, it says to chain four and then join with a slip stitch to form a ring join with a slip stitch and first chain to form a ring. So I'm going to drop a loop there and then draw that through the loop on my hook and that's joining with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to work my stitches of round one into the center of the ring and I'm also going to be working over the end on my starting chain. And I left about a five inch end on that end uh, on my starting chain. So to work a single crochet I'm just going to go into the center of the ring, draw a loop up, yarn over draw through two. So I'm going to do that eight times and I'm going to be working over the end of my starting chain. So there's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like that. So because I worked over this it becomes like a drawstring because it's underneath every one of those stitches. So when I pull it I can close up that center hole and you don't want to pull it too tight um, but it should pull pretty easily. I guess that depends on how tight your stitches are. So, um, On the eighth single crochet I needed to stop before I completely finish that single crochet and I need to change to the um, second color. So the next color I will be using is the natural color. So I've already got a slip knot. I put that on my hook and I might want to tighten that up just a little bit there. And I'm going to draw the new color through the two loops on my hook so I'm finishing the last single crochet with the new color just like this. And then I am going to tighten this. I'm going to move on to the next. Um, so I've got my eight single crochets here. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I should have counted this one right there. So I'm going to join. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to mark the ends of my rounds it says. Um, but because I'm changing colors each round I don't feel like I have to mark them. I, th I feel like I'll know what, what I'm doing. So I'm going to put two single crochets in each single crochet around. So I'm going to go in here, which is so tight and I don't know why. One, I think I didn't do enough singles back there. Let me get one more single in there. I'm supposed to have eight. Okay, one. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I needed one more. And then eight, like this. Okay, no, that's with the wrong strand. I'm doing great here, huh? Okay, so I'm going to pick up. I hate when you pick up the wrong strand. Okay, so I need to pick this up. I do not know what I'm doing wrong here. Alright, that's that. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Alright, sometimes I bring the end for my starting chain through. Okay, so we're back on track. So that should be eight. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now my eighth single crochet, I wanted to start with a new color. So I don't, 
I finish off with the new loop, the loop of the new color on my hook, and I finish that single crochet. Okay, so now I just drop the unused color to the back, and now I'm going to work with the um, this color. So in the directions it says to work two single crochets in each single crochet around. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start the new round with a new color and I'm just going to work two singles in every single crochet around. So because I had 8 in the first round, I'll have 16 in the next round. Okay. So now I'm going to pick up the new color in the last, uh, before I finish the last two stitches. So I'm just going to change to the new color right here and I am going to pick up the drop color right here and then I'm going to finish the last stitch with a new color just like this and then I'm ready for round three. Now round three says two single in the next one and two singles in the next one. So you do the same thing all the way around single, two singles So I've done, I did, uh, my last single was there, and I did a single, two singles, single, two, single, two, single, two, single, two, single, two, single, two, and then my last one is single. All right, this is one, two, and three. Um, Okay, so what I want to do is do my last stitch in the new color. So I'm going to go here. I'm getting ready to do my last stitch, but I want to change colors before I do that. So I'm going to pick up my white right here, and I'm going to change to white and do the very last stitch with the new color. See, so that way the spiral is created because the blue continues out, it doesn't stop. And then this will make the white come out and not stop. So in round four it says single in the next three. So there's one, two, three, and then you do two. And then one, two, three, and then two, and one, two, three, and two, one, two, three, and two. Okay, so before I want to change colors here, before I do that, I want to, before I, um, basically I don't want to do a white in here because I want to keep the blue going. 
So, and I need to do uh, three um, stitches here. So before I, I'm going to pick up that blue again back here like this. I'm going to yarn over with the blue and then I'm going to finish this row one, two, three and I'm going to start the next row. See how it becomes continuous in there. So now I've done rows one, two, three, and four. So row five is to single crochet in the next four and then do two singles. So that's how you do it before you have to change the color before the um, you want these colors to overlap here so it creates the spiral. So if you look at the black one here the colors never stopped like the it continues out and to do that you have to have your colors overlapping here. So you need to change your color before like you needed to change your color here before the black ran out and then here before the white see right here the white is continuous so that's what gives it that spiral look and so right here it's the same thing the spiral keeps going around visually it'll keep going but you have to have that overlap there that connection so right here we created the overlap with the blue and right here we created it with the white so you just keep going in that same pattern and that's how you create the poly whirl. So I hope you enjoyed this video and we have lots of videos on our YouTube channel which is Maggie's, uh, which is Maggie Weldon and I would love for you to subscribe to our video and this these um, instructional videos are supported by Maggie's Crochet.com so we would love for you to shop with us. So I want to thank you very much for watching.